Hey guys, welcome back to New Creature Hobbies. This is Omar. How you doing? Um, I'm my buddy over at uh, Ultrazilla Toys uh, was joking with me the other day, and uh, it made me think um, about rebranding this uh, this segment. So we're going to be calling this uh, New Creature Unpacked. So welcome to the first ever New Creature Unpacked. This is where I'm going to be opening up. Um, any toy hauls that I bring in and uh, any new toys it's gonna it's gonna have the uh, the title new creature unpacked so uh, thanks Sal for uh, encouraging that uh, I very much appreciate it because we gotta get some stuff like um, more original right you gotta brand it towards your name you gotta move towards your name okay anyway um I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving um, I hope you shared it a lot of uh, good times with your friends and family and uh, let them know that you appreciate them and you're thankful for all they've done for you and you in in your life and uh, that you're grateful for uh, all the things that you've uh, received and all the opportunities you've had to give um, yeah um, my wife and I uh, uh, had uh, her family over for uh, Thanksgiving and that was a blast that was so much fun um, they, they helped us out with a lot of stuff during the cooking and prep. And, you know, um, on Friday, Black Friday, <laughs> yeah, um, they actually let my wife and I go uh, Black Friday shopping, which was really cool. We didn't really um, um, score any Black Friday deals per se, but um, uh, we did do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, in fact, I think we got all of it except for like little details here and there and I was able to bring in a little bit of a Black Friday haul um, we can also call this a five below haul and a target haul because uh, I introduced my wife to the wonders of five below <laughs> it's a really cool store um, they're getting a lot of press because they're getting they're picking up a lot of the um, like Toys R Us exclusives and stuff that just never made it to the store before Toys R Us closed their doors. So um, um, they get some cool stuff. Um, if you've been there before, though, you know, sometimes they just kind of get a bunch of things that people don't want. Um, uh, like um, Animal Crossing Amiibos. Ha! Huh, you know? <laughs> um, but uh, I walked in and we got these Amiibos. They had some... Uh, those uh mario party amiibos so i picked up yoshi and um princess peach and then i found this kirby one that's still kind of in um in circulation at stores at full price i got these all five dollars a piece so we're gonna get into these we're gonna get into the other things that i got um but yeah go check out your five below if you have a five below near you go check them out um they also have uh, DC uh, Multiverse figures by Mattel. Um, I've seen some really cool stuff on the shelf, um, but um, that was like other five belows. The one near me actually only has like Rick Flag, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of depressing. It's like, okay, Rick Flag from Suicide Squad. Why are there like 20 of them on the shelf? <sighs> so those are market. I mean, if he's your guy, go get him, you know, $5, you know, it's, it's really cool. It's a good deal. $5 and below. Go get what you need. Go get what you need. Um, let's get into these first. We will do ladies first, Princess Peach. And, um, I do collect Amiibos once in a while if I like them or if I get a good deal on them because, uh, I still play Breath of the Wild and, um, uh, I like to... Uh, stock up on things if you guys play breath of the wild um it's very much worth getting amiibos to just kind of stock up your uh your character so you don't go in uh with like a tree branch and a pot lid and like not much else to your name um but also when you um get these game specific amiibos they help out a lot too with the uh, near field compatibility or near field uh, um, reader on the uh, gamepad, and I, I think on the Switch too because I don't I don't have a Switch yet. I'm sorry, <laughs> I 
I'm just not with the times. But here is Princess Peach. She looks all right. I mean, I'm trying to find my light that's, uh, which one is it? Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Is it this one? <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's just pull her back here. Uh, I can't find, uh, this one. No, it's that one. It's gotta be that one. No, it's still not that one, huh? All right, well, maybe it's this one. It's a little combination of these guys. There we go. So she looks all right. Your typical standard Princess Peach. Uh, let's let's keep moving here. Yeah, if you're uh, into Mario Party, I'm not really into Mario Party. Um, I've the uh, my friends have always said like if you want to lose friends, invite them over for Mario Party. <laughs> yeah, those those games can be pretty brutal. Um, if that's your thing though, man, go for it. Go for it all the way. Here's Yoshi. Typical Yoshi. Looks all right. Looks all right. Yeah. Pretty good. So that's these two. And then we got Kirby over here. I always appreciate these uh, little amiibos because they, they put in a lot of detail into these little tiny figures. And... Uh, I had heard that they were going to uh, um, phase these out eventually, but I still keep seeing new ones coming out. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they look cool though. Very uh, screen accurate, you know. Um, it's definitely your guy, you know. So those are my amiibos, my amiibo haul from Five Below. Um, if you are looking for any of these, uh, they had some more, uh, Mario party figures, but these are the ones that I really like. So, you know, uh, I didn't see a Mario there. I think there was a Daisy. I think I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and, but these were the ones that they had. Uh, let's see. Also for five, from five below, I got our guys dynamic duo <laughs> yeah I thought I'd never see any more of these guys on the shelf ever ever again and there they were sitting in a bin right in front so thank you five below thank you so much we'll open bays first This was a uh, pre um, digital face printing. So they don't have that, that same shimmer and shine, but it, they still look really good, you know? So I'm not complaining. Um, I don't have Jin Urso or, uh, or uh, Cassian. Um, creature unpack all right there he is so he looks all right you know i mean he definitely definitely looks like the he uh the character he's portraying let's stick this in here and favorite game where does this go where does this go hmm. looks cool it looks really cool
Get in there, you. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So that, that slides right in. Uh, I don't know what this is. But it looks like it just keys in right back here. Which, I don't know. I don't remember this. You, you see that? Little, it keys back in here on his belt. Oh. I don't know why they'd make that a separate part. Whoop. <laughs> that is very, very, uh, whoa. -oh. Um, yeah, be very careful because uh, now there's a big tension mark on his chain here for the chain gun. Um, that doesn't make me very happy. But I don't think it's going to be a problem. Okay. Yeah, he looks cool. Looks really good. He has decent articulation all around. You know, so there he is. Fully armed, fully clothed fully whatever that thing is. He's got a smokestack. He's got his chain. It's fantastic. Yeah. I really like the Star Wars black figures. Um, but <clears throat> truth be told, and uh, don't hate me for this, okay? Um, I'm a casual Star Wars fan. So when I collect Star Wars black series figures, I go for more of the uh, um, the main characters. So you know, you got you got him, right? And then you got him. And I couldn't pass on this because this is a this is a Donnie Yen figure. How how many times are you going to run across a Donnie Yen figure? You know, they they didn't make very many. <laughs> I don't I don't th I don't think I've ever seen another Donnie Yen action figure. So. When I saw that they were making uh, Cheer It, I was like, uh-oh, i got to get that one. Um, he's a main character, right? So I'm, I'm still in the clear for the uh, casual Star Wars fan uh, toy collecting. There that is. That's cool. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool. And then... It's a decent likeness. If you follow uh, the Ip Man movies, um, this one looks like the one from the third movie where it's not Donnie Yen anymore. I think it's the third movie. It's been a while since I watched those movies. But it, it looks like a good stand-in for Donnie Yen. And I like that. I like that a lot. Like looking at him in person though, it looks it looks like it it has some good um it has a good resemblance to Donnie Yen. And uh I'm I'm not a big fan. I'm I'm a decent fan of Donnie Yen. Uh I remember him in Iron Monkey and uh what was the what was the other movies I've seen him in? Uh, anyway, yeah, um, <laughs> don't want to go too far off the uh, the rabbit trail there. Um, but you got the, this nice cloth too. It feels good. It doesn't. It's not. Um, it doesn't feel cheap, and it's not. It's not flimsy. So it's it's nice and it drapes well. And then 
I guess this is just my opinion, but the uh, the black plastic that or the um, I guess it's it's not all black, but the um, the molded fabric into his figure looks good too. So it it kind of it um it blends well that's the word i'm looking for it blends well yeah um i'm just trying to put this tab in here because it was loose there we go that should stay there that's that's right there and then he has his I will probably um, review this, these guys, but I'll probably do it together because they've been out for a while, and uh, I'd just be giving you my my two cents on them. So you know, um, it wouldn't be too too elaborate. It'll just be like a little one-two punch kind of thing. Yeah, I didn't realize he has such bad posture. He's got a little hunch there in his neck yeah but look his uh his profile is definitely donnie yen right um as you get towards the uh the forward facing it's no longer donnie yen but it still looks good it still looks really good yeah like it i like it a lot um let's see i Forgot about this. Uh, we have uh, I we stopped at Ross to see if I I could find any more you know Transformers or any any old legacy figures that I that I missed along the way, and uh, I found this um, Legion Legion class I believe, yeah it's a Legion class uh, uh, Firestorm. Um, Dragonstorm, not Firestorm, Dragonstorm. And uh, they made a bigger version of this, but it's the three-headed dragon um, uh, from the uh, the Last Night movie, um, the Michael Bay Transformers movie. And I always thought that they would make this guy um, in like a leader class form where it was like, it was just Dragonstorm. And... Um, they 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 never did. They just made that uh that quick transform kids kids version, um that makes all that noise and it kind of sounds like Predaking from uh, Transformers Prime. <laughs> He's like for the will of the Autobots, you know. Um, but they never made this figure. Instead, they took two existing uh, figures, which which was probably a good idea, um, and they made them tr um combine into the three-headed dragon but i would have rather seen one cohesive figure that combined or that um transformed into a dragon i i would have liked to see dragon storm uh take on a life of his own instead of making little keychain type figures like this the legion class and then making the uh you know the um the one step two ch two step changers you know that they that they made them into um those look cool too like the molding on that i mean even though there's no ar like real articulation in that they, they still look cool and that's why i picked this guy up he still has that dragon storm look you know and the red and the black with the red accents and the then the gold inlays and stuff and he's got his gold kneecaps He's got a nice tampo right there. He's got the red around his eyes. It, it looks good. So I, when I saw it, I said, hey, uh, I'm going to pick this up. And my wife said, all right. <laughs> it was only a couple bucks. So like it, it wasn't, it wasn't really, it wasn't going to break the bank. So it looks cool. I like it. And uh, I do like Michael Bay Transformers. They have a really cool... Um, um, functional motif to them 
You know, everything looks like something, everything looks like it has a job to do on, on the transformation. Even these more biological looking ones. I like them. I like that they do that, you know. So that's that. Um, let's see. From Target, these were not on a Black Friday sale either, but when I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm going to get them. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Transformer Siege. We've got Stormcloud and Visper. 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 So there's the box. Siege on Cybertron. Got your blister pack, Transformers. And there they are right there. On the back, you've got your product shots right there. He turns into... I, I want to say that's a sword. But if you saw my Optimus Prime review, you know I prefer those to be guitars. <laughs> so, yeah. He's just like a... He combines it together and makes a fantastic guitar. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get this guy open. Hopefully, I don't have any QC issues with this because I do not want to do this again. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine a world where QC was never an issue. <sighs> There's the instructions. All right. And let's take out our trusty uh, sprue clippers. So here's uh, Visper. Pretty cool. He's all black. Let's see. How do we transform this guy? Flip out his wings. Flip down his feet. This is starting to look familiar. I may have had this figure when I was little. Not exactly this figure, but like a... I, if this were a green Transformer, he would look like one that, that I had. Like, exactly. There we go. And that tabs in there. And there you are. Oh. Visper. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And we've got Stormcloud right here. I like Stormcloud. When I saw him in the box, I was like, oh, he doesn't have hands. He just has little blaster dealies. And it looks like they're ports for the um, the um, effects pieces that come with the um, with the uh, target masters. Are they calling them target masters? Uh, let me know in the comments. All right, yeah, they have. Uh, he has little ports for hands, and they look like little blasters, like little Mega Man blasters. Uh, <laughs> I like them. I like them a lot. We will transform him. Oh, so we flip his. There we go. Okay. So, let's go like 
add. Flip. 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 Oh. Um, if you've seen my other video, you know these uh, ball joints come out real easily. So be careful with that. This flips here. Tab, tab. Very nice. Tabs nicely. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. And then this flips forward. And then you have Storm Cloud. Look at that. Neato Torpedo. I like it. Tiny guy. You can see his face. <laughs> okay, and they go together like. Let's see. I guess we flip this back. And then we take this. And we stick them together. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so the tabs were under tension. They popped apart, so I'm going to put them back. It's kind of windy outside. Wow. Yeah. That should be good. All right. Let's see. These go together like this. And there you have it. One mean looking sword. And let's put him in. Uh, here, we'll put him in Optimus's hand. gonna hurt someone so there's there's no pegging underneath so he can't hold it like a like a guitar like I'd like him to but that's okay this this thing looks nice this is this is a decent sword and uh, I mean obviously it's it's trying to just make one thing into another and uh, you know gimmick 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 that's the name of uh, transformers right there that's the name of their game but you know it looks nice it it um it's very cohesive it does the job um i'm not going to really have any of these guys in this mode though i like them in the robot modes um just like any other transformer um i don't buy transformers for their alt modes i buy them for the robot modes because if i'm buying them for the car mode their alt mode then i'm buying a toy truck or a toy jet or a toy car you know i I didn't want to buy a toy, a toy truck. I wanted to buy an Optimus Prime. So, you know, he's going to be in his robot mode. Um, I like to transform them once in a while, but it's not really that important to me. You know, your mileage may vary. Um, but, hey, you know, I, what can I say? This is how I like my toys. Um, yeah, let's see. And, you know, I'm, I've got kids. I, I transform these guys all the time, and then we'll, we'll play race cars and stuff, and, and we'll fly around, you know, and play jets with these, with these guys, you know. But by and large, when they're on my shelf, when they're not in use, this is usually what they look like. Because they're very cool robots. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like these guys. Okay, finally, the last thing I got from Target was this NECA Real Toys Ultimate Edition Alien. We've got our really cool box here. It's got a flap. Now there was a brown box and a green and a blue box, and uh, I mean it, it reflected 
which version I got. One was brown and one was blue. Um, I don't really know the difference. I remember back in the day, there was um, the brown one was the scorpion alien and the blue one was the gorilla alien. But they looked, these ones look exactly the same. They look like the scorpion alien. They both look like scorpion alien. Just one was blue and one was, one is brown. So let's check this out. So we've got that really cool menacing box art right there with the aliens logo right there. Ultimate edition. And we got aliens on that side. NECA real toys. And same on this side. Same up here. And you got your barcode and all, all your business right there. On the flap, we've got the scorpion alien right there. And then you can see you got the alien, you got the chest burster, you got the face hugger, and you've got the alien egg. So that's cool. And uh, on the back, the sole survivor of the Nostromo, Ripley is discovered in cryogenic sleep 57 years later by a salvage ship. When she is taken back to Earth, Ripley learns that the uh, company has established human colonies on the same planet where the alien attack originated. There is a typo right there. It says Ripley learns that they company, it should say that the company has established human colonies on the same planet where the alien attack originated. After all contact with the colony is lost, Ripley agrees to return to the planet accompanied by a team of colonial Marines. Together they will rescue any survivors that remain and confront the alien menace head on. And that's the back right there. You want to read all that yourself there you go you got your product shots right here and here and here very cool let's get this open because i have been waiting <laughs> for like a day um <laughs> let's go All right, that feels really heavy. It's really thick. See, is there anything else in here? No. Nope. Down there. And here we go. I want to do a full review on this. This looks amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. Let's get this out. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh. Ugh. chest burster hello my baby hello my honey <laughs> yeah this is cool oh yeah and it's got a wire inside look at that so you can uh get them going crazy perfect i love that Look at that. Oh, man. Is it the same on the... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You can usually tell because there there's uh, little wire holes right there. Little little weep holes there. Oh, man. Perfect. That is perfect. So, I can just put it in like this. Look at that. It's coming in. It's coming in. <laughs> that is great. Now, it would be really cool if they put the uh, wires in each finger of the uh, of the um, face hugger. But I'm okay with it. It's okay. It looks good. It looks really good. Oh, man. That is so cool. Okay. 
I know he doesn't go in here. He goes in the chest. But I need him to be right here right now. Okay. All right. Now let's take a closer look at our scorpion alien. I'm assuming that's what he's called. Um, when I was little, my brother and I collected the um, the uh, Kenner toys. So that's that's what they called this guy. He was the um, he was the scorpion alien. Now, oh, his joints are kind of. I don't want to break anything. <sighs> Tell me, there's a joint in there. Yeah, there's a joint. Okay, so there's a there's a, um there's a hinge and a swivel in there. It's really tight though. So, oh, there we go. And he's got a. A diaphragm swivel there at the rib cage. Let's see, what does he have here? Yep, hinge and a swivel right there, and it's soft ratcheted. Although you, you can't really can't really feel it. There, there we go. Okay. Oh man, this looks really cool. Okay, you got you. Yeah. Come on, bend. There we go. Is a double jointed el uh, knee, and I'm assuming that's a double jointed elbow, but that's really kind of scary looking right there. But yeah, and he's got an articulated toe. Very cool. And does it? Oh, his tail. His tail has wire articulation. Yes. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Look at all of that detail right there. NECA is impressing me like nobody else lately. Let's see. Although this knee is kind of weird looking. I might have to hit that with some heat. It looks like the uh, joint got pressed in on uh, during shipping. That's a shame, but man, I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even sad about it. <laughs> this looks so cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can without breaking. Come on. There we go. There we go. That looks so good. Does his mouth open? <gasps> it does. Does the does the second mouth come out? think it does yeah that oh no 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 I think it might it might come out <gasps> oh <laughs> look at that ah hello but um there's no gimmick to get that out it just you gotta reach in there and pull it out but he's got his he's got his second mouth. He's got his internal mouth right there. The uh whew. what's up? Hey buddy. Look at that. That is so cool. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so cool. Yeah, this guy's definitely getting a review sometime soon. I've got a few on the docket coming up. I gotta get done and uh, then I gotta get this guy out because this is amazing guys this is so cool <sighs> NECA has been blowing me out of like blowing my mind because all these figures have been looking so good lately we got just just in the last couple months I got ne um the Xenomorph, I got the uh, Gizmo, and I got uh, the Endoskeleton. You know, it's like all of the detail on these is so good. I want to show that off to you guys. So this guy is definitely getting a review. 
all right that's that's it for my video thanks for uh thanks for watching and uh let me know what you think of any of these in the comments below if there's if there's anyone specifically that you want me to uh review right away let me know and I, i'll i'll do what i can um obviously i you know i have to take into consideration other you know just things in my life but <laughs> but I'll, I'll do what i can you know um Hi, it's a little alien cocktail. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. And um, yeah, be on the lookout for some pictures of these guys in the near future. I'm trying to get stuff going again. Uh, Thanksgiving threw me off. I was, I was sick the week before. And uh, I was on some medicine that made me sick all last week. Um, um, but... I'm trying to get everything under control so I can get a uh, a regular schedule going again because I, I was I was just trucking along and just kind of churning them out but they, life happens you know and uh, I did say last week that I wasn't going to push any videos out anyway because we had to entertain guests we had guests all week so um, yeah be on the lookout for some pictures be on the lookout for uh, for updates um, on my facebook and uh if you like this video give me a like if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i put up new videos and uh new content on the channel and um thanks for watching